Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I was actually checking something on the computer and my daughter's like, why do you have no eyelashes? And I'm like, I do. They're just like invisible. They're so blonde. They are very fine and thin. She's like, you look pretty like that. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Kids can definitely be brutal though. Don't get, get me wrong. They will like say exactly what's on their mind. They are very honest, but I thought I would kind of do a little vlog. I'm going to do my lashes. We have a little party today, my sister-in-law's sister. So my brother moved down here before we did. They're in South Carolina, we're in North Carolina right now. Our land is in South Carolina, but they moved down here before us. My brother's wife, so my sister-in-law, her sister also moved down at the same time and they built houses right next to each other. So they're neighbors, which I think is absolutely awesome. But the sister, of my sister-in-law is doing like a little party we're gonna paint pumpkins we don't do halloween we never did growing up you know you either celebrate halloween or you don't in the christian realm we don't we don't celebrate halloween um but she thought to like do something for the kids it's not halloweeny i'm not even sure my opinions on that because everybody has their own convictions there we go that's the word but before i get started i'm going to apply my lip liner stay in from satcho this is the one in shade mauve. I already did my makeup and I like these because they stay on all day. It's almost like lip blushing but only for like 12 hours and it's nice because lip gloss, lipstick, liquid lipstick, you know, it all fades with time. But this holds on pretty well even with eating and everything, you know, it gives your lips a nice stain. So I outline it first and then I actually fill it in and use it like a all over lip stain and you have to let them dry down up to 20 minutes otherwise you won't get the color payoff that you want and they did come out with some new shades which they sent me I'll share those once they come in one of them is like a plum one, plum one. the other one is a cinnamon this one is 01 nude it's one of my favorites for like a neutral this actually makes such a cool lip color I'm gonna let this dry down then you peel it off and you have a nice flash of color flush of color i'm gonna be using one of my favorite lashes i'm gonna grab a 12 millimeter or if you can tell there's some glue on the lash band and i'm gonna swipe i'm gonna try not to talk too much because i want the lip stain to dry down but i kind of swipe that extra glue over my natural lashes to coat them and then apply it as close to the roots as possible without touching the waterline follow the natural curve of your eye shape i wish i could rock my natural lashes and like love them like my mom has the same lashes as me they're like basically super blonde and invisible and my mom never ever cared for makeup she just they grew up so different from us like makeup was not a thing in their world at all so coming to america it was kind of like whoa kind of a bit of a culture shock and like my parents don't care now even now my mom like just doesn't care for makeup she doesn't even really use any skincare if i'm being completely honest i feel like a lot of it is definitely genes when it comes to your skin and all that stuff and then also lifestyle choices can affect that. Sometimes I'll see girls that have like really light features and they rock that no makeup look. And I'm like, my gosh, you could look stunning. I feel like we're a little bit harder on ourselves and we give ourselves a little less love. Just like some honest chats. This eye is done. Now I'm going to repeat those exact same steps on my other eye. I feel like this is ready. It's already dry. I stretch it out so that you can get a corner to peel it. Sometimes if not, I'll just kind of rub it to get the corner off. You can just peel it right off. And then this is a result, like a really nice flush of color, and this will last you for a long time, almost basically all day. Apply this last lash, and we are going to be all done, and I have to go to the store. Everybody's bringing an appetizer and a dessert, so for dessert I'm going to do, I have brownie batter, it's like a really good one, one of the neighbors actually gave it to us, they, she gave me like a pack of four. She gave it to my kids and she's like, give this to your mom. And so we've been eating brownies, and I have like two packs left, I'm going to do one of those. And I'm going to make them Thanksgiving themed. I thought saw something on Pinterest where they made it look like a little turkey, which I thought was so cute. And then for my appetizer, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do little sandwiches, like chicken rotisserie sandwiches, apple slices on top, and Swiss. Kind of make it fall themed. All right, lashes are done. Now I just have to fill in my eyebrows. And we can go to the store. My sweaters from H&M. H&M. It's from Amazon. I haven't worn it in such a long time, but my husband's gonna need to go somewhere. Sorry, no dilly dallying. But I did want to quickly mention this Bourbon Brulee, which is a new fragrance I got from Letta. I love the 22 Auras. It's such a beautiful, warm, sophisticated scent. And I was so excited for this. I got the travel size because I wasn't sure how I feel about it. And I am really glad that I got the travel size because I'm kind of on the fence about it. I love how it smells when it settles down. But initially it kind of gave me a headache. It was a little bit too much. I don't know. Like it has a little bit of booziness, the caramel, a little bit of vanilla. If I do too much in the beginning, it's a little bit too much for me. But overall, like once it settles down, I do think it is like a gorgeous, by the fireplace, fall, cozy 
but like a sophisticated cozy scent but i love that she offers travel sizes because you know you never know the fragrance i do like it actually it's growing on me i can definitely see myself wearing this it's like a very sophisticated cozy scent it's chaotic in there there's so many people here i don't know if they're like shopping last minute for candy half the candy's gone so I had to go to the actual candy section. You know how they have like the Halloween candy section? I would say more than half the stuff is already Christmas, which I'm not mad about because I love Christmas, but I got rotisserie chicken and I'm gonna use this to make the open face sandwiches. I got bread for that and then I got like Reese's Pieces, candy corn, little eyeballs and stuff to do brownies that look like little turkeys. I wanted to share about this tea because this tea, if you struggle with sleeping, like that time of the month, I have major insomnia, but this one, chamomile mint, specifically from Celestial Seasonings, tea well line, the sleep one. This one has one milligram of melatonin, Organic lemon balm, chamomile, catnip, which I will say my cats go crazy. When I am drinking this tea in bed, they're like all up in my business. It's the weirdest thing ever, so I don't know, but it, this works. This will, like my husband, and it's only one milligram. I can't do more than one milligram. I got the spray from my FabFitFun box for winter, and it does work, but I feel like this is even better, and it's cheaper, but I just wanted to try that spray out got my little eyeballs the kids are gonna be so excited and then I got my kids these little mushrooms because they love hot cocoa so they can top off their hot cocoa this is my favorite for my essential oil diffuser I bought a waterless one my battery dies so I gotta talk fast but this makes your house smell like aromatherapy it's so nice and then crushed candy canes which I'm gonna make for like holiday drinks I'll show you guys but yeah my battery's basically dead first so. thing I want to make myself an iced matcha because I feel like I could really use one right about now. So this is my new diffuser here. It's waterless, so you just put like 15 drops here. Just make sure not to overdo it. And I actually like it so far. You can barely see the smell coming out. It is definitely way more potent than a water one. Mm -hmm. I have some milk in a glass here with ice because I'm doing ice diversion. If I was doing hot, I would steam the milk, like froth it. And then for the actual matcha part, I do like a tablespoon of matcha into something like this because I'm going to be frothing it with a handheld frother. And then I usually sweeten it with honey, but I'm just going to go in with some vanilla syrup to do a vanilla matcha latte. Add a little bit of hot water and then just froth it using a handheld frother to mix everything and blend it. And then just pour your matcha into your glass. And that's it. Look at that gorgeous color. Mm, now we can get started on everything else. I went ahead and mixed up my brownie batter and I'm actually gonna put it in this cookie tin of sorts and make them very shallow. This one I tried for 20 minutes and it was still too much, like they were pretty dry. So I'm gonna do like, I don't know, I'm gonna do 10 minutes and keep an eye on it. I personally don't like to clean up at the end. I clean up as I go, plus I need this bowl anyway to shred the rotisserie, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm kind of hungry right now, so I was like rummaging through my fridge to see what we have to eat. I have a lot of leftovers. I made a white bean kale Italian sausage soup, which is pretty good, so I have a lot of that left over. I made a broccoli and beef stir fry, kind of like Chinese food inspired, so we have some of that left over. And then I also made some sushi, like I really wanted some sushi. It's not the same as restaurant quality, but whenever I like really want sushi, it kind of does the trick. So I did canned salmon, and then I did smoked salmon, I did cucumber, avocado, some hot mayo, spicy mayo, like sriracha, and I don't know, I feel like it's pretty good. It does the trick. It's obviously not the same as a restaurant. It's pretty good, and I use sushi rice. I get it at Walmart. Mm -hmm. I let my brownies cool down a little bit and then I'm using the cover from my <laughs> cinnamon dispenser here because it's the only thing that I have that has like a sharp edge. Cut out all of my brownies and then I'm gonna let these cool even more before I finish them. I toasted my sandwiches a little bit. Our oven heats from the bottom. This one right here in the RV. So I just flip them. What I'm gonna do is spoon a little bit of this chicken mixture on here. Add a little bit of spinach and then sliced apples and then top it off with my Swiss cheese. And then I'm actually going to cover it and refrigerate it to broil at the party because I feel like they'll taste so much better when they're fresh. Here's what the sandwiches look like all assembled. I'm making one right now in the air fryer. And then I'm going to top it off with hot honey. But these I'm just going to wrap in some saran wrap and then pop them in the fridge until I'm ready to go and start working on my little turkey brownies. This is what it looks like with the cheese melted. And then I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of hot honey. I did a little TikTok taste test first. But these sandwiches are so delicious. I drizzled it with hot honey and I feel like it's the hot honey that really amplified it. If you don't like hot honey, you could definitely skip this step. But listen to this crunch definitely a really good fall twist on your typical chicken sandwich and I would definitely make these again. I had my candy on top of the air fryer which I'm sure somebody, somebody must have noticed and said no! 
Yeah, I completely melted my little mini peanut butter cup, so I'm gonna try to salvage what I can. I turn that AC on because it's too hot in here, I can't do it. But I think I'll be fine because I only need 12. I think I can make it work, but I have some semi-sweet chocolate chips that I melted here, and that's what I'm gonna use to adhere the all of these chocolates onto the brownie. I also changed into shorts, by the way, because it's too hot for this. So we're gonna take our little miniature Reese's cup, dip it in, which melting chocolate okay i did way too much plop it on here closer to the bottom and then i'm gonna grab my candy corn i'm just gonna smear some chocolate where the candy corn is gonna go and this is the little turkey feathers how stinking cute grab my little eyeballs i'm gonna use a toothpick to put some chocolate where the eyeballs are gonna go and then also where the m&m is gonna go for the nose or the goblet, whatever. It's cute. Look at my little brownie turkeys. I feel like the kids are gonna love them. There are the little turkey brownies all done. I feel like they came out so cute. Really happy with them. I think the kids are gonna love them. And now I have like an hour until I have to leave. I need to quickly paint my toenails because they're naked right now and it's just not, it's not a good look. So I'm gonna do a milky white. It's one of my favorites. These sets from Amazon from D&D &D come with a gel polish and then a regular nail polish, which I like to use a regular on my toes. Gel definitely lasts so much longer. And it's like more chip resistant. Regular nail polish is just so quick and definitely safer to use for sure. You can't tell, but it's five o'clock in the morning. I woke up not that long ago and i felt like my body was well rested and i was ready to get the day started which is amazing because i've been trying to wake up early for such a long time and get back into the rhythm of it and to do that i have to go to bed earlier so yesterday when i came home i was just like all pooped out by the time i drove home and got home which i didn't know people were bringing their husbands i was like where's your husband i'm like oh he's at home I did not know this was like a husband thing um because back in new york anytime we had birthday parties pj parties it was just like the moms would all get together and we'd bring our kids and have like, you know, mom's play dates essentially. I guess it's a little bit different here <laughs> in the South, but it was um, so nice of Olga and Igor, there are their names, to open up their home for everybody and they had like the cutest setup outside in the backyard. They had like string lights, uh, they made a tractor with a trailer attached for the kids, they had like a little station sensory type stations for the kids to play with like corn. Olga actually is a speech language pathologist and she's really really good with kids and like all of that but it was just so nice of them and then they had a bonfire fire pit and the food that I tried to include little snippets here and it was just nice to you know hang out and spend community time together that's like that was their main goal is for us to have community time on that day and I think that's the most important thing that's how we are as humans we live in community and we should be living in community in person kids had a blast they actually painted some pumpkins i don't think you can tell because it's like literally pitch black but they're like by the tv my daughter saw this picture she didn't know what to do so i gave her all of them so a bunch of ideas and my daughter picked out the starbucks one this is actually her pumpkin so you guys can see it's like a little frappuccino how cute is that like seriously wait i can't believe it's november today's november 1st it is officially fallness season. You guys ever see that audio where it's like somebody opens the door, it creaks open, and then they hear in the distance. Ah. It's like Mariah Carey. Christmas is coming. Like she's defrosting. She is definitely in defrosting. I'm so excited. I was actually going to put up my Christmas tree today, but it's in storage. My husband has to go get it. I won't be putting it up November 1st like I did last year, but that's okay. And yeah, this was just a really great start to November. And I hope you guys are having a good start kicking off your holiday season as well. Let me know if you guys have any like plans coming up in November, Christmas season.